Subaru Sleeping with Carson. Safety disclosure is don't do anything that's dangerous. Don't do anything that I've done. Do everything that you want to do the way you want to do it, not the way I did it. Don't get in trouble. Be safe and wear safety protection. Prepping fuel for the solo campfire stove. As an option, I thought you could use uh, wood shims from Home Depot. You could break them up in about four and a half inch lengths and use them for fuel for a stove. If you wanted to bring a few just in case you can't find any sticks when you get there or to help get the fire started with dry wood. I'm using a pair of pliers to break the wood in the four and a half uh, inch sections, but you can use a pair of pliers or uh, needle nose pliers, anything you want. I bought a set of these little small bungee cords to kind of bind together the wood, but really you could use anything or not bind them together whatsoever. I like the Solo Camp Fire Stove because um, the fuel is sticks and wood, and um, I like that every time I need to do some trim tree trimming or uh, find sticks in the yard, it's kind of fun because I can gather it all up and know that I'll be able to use it for fuel for uh, another meal on a campfire or a camp, uh, camping trip. So here's me um, prepping some wood that I cut down from a tree that was dead into some fuel.